All Pinel items can be bought as separate products. However, we recommend purchasing the complete kit and the emergency kit as they contain the most pieces. The complete kit in the bag handles any known restraint situation for the majority of patients. Some items are used for mutually exclusive purposes. All the products are universally sized, reducing your restraint inventory dramatically. The left pocket contains four universally sized limb straps for both wrists and ankles. There are three major features of the limb belt. One, the longer end contains many grommets holes for optional attachment points. Two, the cuff wraps around the patient. Three, the smaller overlapping security strap permits additional cuff support. The average strap is typically used for an aggressive patient situation. The second pocket contains the green line shoulder belt. It's used with the waist belt to prevent the patient from pushing downwards on the waist belt in an attempt to escape at the head of the bed. The second pocket also contains the brown line belt. It used to be called either the torso control belt or the bed strap. We now refer to it as the large utility belt. The large utility belt is used to control the upper torso of an aggressive patient to ensure the safety of staff from headbutts, bites, or rotational punches. When placed over the patient's shoulders, it dissipates their energy and aggression quickly, yet it is comfortable for the patient. The large utility belt can also be used to control the leg movements of the patient. It primarily acts as a pivot point for the limb belts attached to the patient's legs. The large utility strap is passed under the straps of the shoulder strap to keep the shoulder strap secure to the mattress. The large middle pocket contains the rotation waist belt and two small utility straps already attached but removable. The waist belt is intended to keep the patient safe yet comfortable in a bed or chair. It can be used as a gate belt that can be transferred between the bed and chair without needing to remove it from the patient. The next slot contains one pelvic strap. It is a simple but very powerful safety device that is attached to the waist belt for either chair or bed use. The pelvic strap prevents the waist belt from being pulled upwards over the thorax, where it can cause chest compression and possible asphyxiation during a bed egress attempt. Since it is in an area of frequent soiling, it is easily removed to allow separate cleaning. This same slot also contains two additional small utility straps, which can be interchanged with the two straps attached to the waist belt. The following applications show the versatility of the small utility strap. Four of these straps arrive with the waist belt and are interchangeable. Two are used to attach the waist belt to the bed frame. The other two control rotation of the waist belt. They allow you to position a patient on their side or prevent the patient from rotating in any direction. For exceptionally strong patients, the sewn-in lateral strap may not be strong enough. The utility strap can be inserted in the buckle to provide extra strength to prevent rotation over the side of the bed. In a chair, the utility strap can be used as an extender to prevent the patient from sliding downwards. The strap can be used as a restriction to the limb belts. For example, it can be used to prevent a patient from reaching the Velcro cuff and pulling it apart. At the feet, the strap can be attached to the limb straps at the end of the bed to prevent the patient from pulling their legs upwards.
On certain stretchers or beds, the strap can be used as a convenient attachment point for any belt. Particularly for the long utility strap used to control the torso. For mobile restraining, the strap can be used as a soft shackle to limit running or kicking. When two straps are buckled together, they can be secured around the waist, attached to limb straps, and adjusted to any length. The last slot to the right contains the extender, along with a red emergency cutting knife. The extender lengthens the waist belt by 10 inches, or 24.5 centimeters. The emergency cutting knife is used to cut ligatures quickly. Since it should only be used during an emergency, it must be kept at optimal sharpness. Pinnell has therefore labeled it as a one-time use item. The front of the bags contains holes that hold 13 buttons, pins, and lanyards, and two buttons and pins only. The right side of the bag has a metal ring holding three magnetic keys. The smaller blue bag is the emergency restraint kit used for crisis restraining in emergency departments and ambulances. All of these items are included in the complete kit and have been described earlier, but we'll identify them now. The top layer contains two short utility straps that holds eight buttons, pins, and lanyards. At the end of the buckle are two magnetic keys. Slots under this layer from left to right include a large utility strap and four limb straps. On the right side of the bag is a slot that contains the emergency cutting knife.